Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. A look at the top stories that we're following today. Flint City Council meets tonight expecting to discuss Mayor Sheldon Neely's proposed summer job training program. It would help Flint teens 15 to 19 years old find work funded with $200,000 from the American Rescue Plan Act. The proposed program would allow nonprofits to provide five week jobs this summer. Each job would pay $11 an hour, 29 hours each week. The meeting starts tonight at 530. The Isabella County Board of Commissioners is still considering the price of public safety with potential cuts to road patrols to make up for a $6 million budget shortfall. Those cuts could include up to 19 positions like detectives, sergeants, and the shortfall is the result of a millage that failed by a wide margin back in February. First responders will be honored Friday after saving the life of this toddler. This is happening uh, in Metro Detroit's Sterling Heights, but this video is from February. Police got a call about a 18 month old who stopped breathing. The officer responded, started chest compressions right away until fire crews took over. They took the child to the hospital, ultimately saving the baby. Now, first alert meteorologist Matthew Mondro has your forecast. Thank you, Blake. As we go into this Wednesday here, still tracking some spotty rain showers. Nowhere near as much rain as what we picked up on Tuesday, though. That's with that dry air being pulled into this low pressure system. Uh, something that we've been calling for in the forecast for a couple of days now. You see that they're east of the low. Definitely a lot of dry air over mid-Michigan. So again, it's for today. Only really some spotty showers, particularly during the afternoon. As we go into tonight, another brief lull in any sort of rainfall uh, before one last final round of some scattered rain and snow showers going into your Thursday uh, tomorrow, though, with temperatures still above freezing a uh, ground temps right near 40 as well. Any snow is going to have a very tough time sticking to the ground an even harder time sticking to the ground compared to just a couple of Fridays ago uh, with that snowfall. Eventually the system starting to wind down uh, by Thursday night, finally making its way out of here. We only have a couple of lingering flurries in the thumb on Friday, but as far as rainfall goes between today and tomorrow, uh, not too much more additional rainfall only up to about a 10th of an inch. High temperatures for today also in the lower to middle 40s. So with the dry air, we've We've actually seen our high temperature forecast for today and nudging back up just a little bit. We have a high 40 for your Thursday, 45 on Friday. Again, Friday mostly dry, a few flurries in the thumb, otherwise very blue cloudy into the weekend. Plenty of sunshine, lower to middle 50s. A very nice weekend ahead of us there, and we're keeping an eye on the eclipse forecast on Monday. We're calling for a partly cloudy sky there still, so we don't think the clouds or rather the uh, sky will be completely covered uh, with cloud coverage there. There is still just a very small chance of showers on Monday that we want to first alert you to. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.